Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have, I believe, 26 items here to ship out today. This is going to be mostly everything that's sold over the Labor Day long weekend. And so yeah, let's go ahead and just get into it. Starting off, we have a three item bundle. Our first piece is this Jane and Delancey popover blouse. I pick up this brand when I find it and it has lots of marketable characteristics to it. Like for instance, this had a novelty bird parrot print. It's a size 1X. It was in great shape, really cute. Second piece is Umji size 1XL. It's a linen blend, long line kind of tunic top with frayed edges, very beachy, very boho, has a high-low hemline. I do see long line tops, tops that just have like a longer link to them. I see that as a selling factor to them just because a lot of people do like to cover the bum. They feel more comfy um, with longer tops. And third and final piece in this bundle is a J Crew tank top. I mentioned when I included this in the haul that I don't, I definitely don't always pick up basic tank tops from J. Crew or Madewell or similar brands, but this one was a size extra large. It was 100% linen and it had a cute tiered kind of baby doll silhouette to it. So again, lots of kind of sellable, marketable features to that top. So. When the three of these items were bundled together, the bundle price, including my automatic 15% off discount of three items or more in my Poshmark closet, came out to $76.50. And I sent the buyer a $70 offer with no discount ship, mainly because these were all very newly listed items within like just a couple days, the potential buyer bundled all three. And so I didn't offer that much lower than my already discounted bundle price um, because they were all new items. And I knew that they would all sell probably pretty quickly either way. So yeah, I sent a $70 offer that was accepted. That made my earnings $56. I paid $2 for each item, so $6 for everything, and my net profit was right around $50 on that bundle. Okay, next we have a Lane Bryant size 18 slash 20, 100% linen midi dress. This is really pretty. It has a double V neckline and then kind of a loose, flowy, ruffle bottom hem. So the sellable factors to this are the fabric, 100% linen, that's breathable, natural, beachy, boho, lag and look. You can add a ton of keywords into this. Coastal grandma. Also that it's a size 16, 18, and it's a midi length. Midi length dresses sell very well for me. And this was actually a full price sale just a few days after being listed. It sold full price for $35 which was awesome. That made my earnings 28. I paid two. And so my net profit was $26 on this dress. I would highly encourage you guys to not underestimate Lane Bryant or Torrid. Those have been some of my top selling brands, mainly because I think plus size items that are cute, trendy, in good condition are kind of underrepresented on the resale marketplace. And so I always keep my eye out for cute plus size stuff. It sells really well, really quickly. Not only because it sells well, but also because I like to just represent every size in my closet. Um, I want to cater to everyone. And yeah, this is a great piece. I hope the buyer enjoys it. Okay, moving on, we have a, okay. I said it in the haul. 
It's Kilo Hattie, pretty sure. I think I nailed it, the pronunciation. Kilo Hattie Hawaiian Original Made in Hawaii dress. Really cute, size extra large. It's a vibrant tropical print with this kind of built-in sarong skirt portion. Really cute piece here. I found this, I was actually already on the way to check out. And I was like, well, let me just, there was one row in the whole store that I hadn't gone down. And I was like, oh, I'm so tired, but let me just quickly look down this row. And I found this dress along with an Athleta New Tags dress. So I was really happy that I uh, stuck it out a little bit longer and looked down that row. So this dress also sold extremely quickly. I listed it at $38 and someone liked the dress. So I sent them out a $34 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $24.52. I paid two and so my net profit was $22.52. My Family Thrift Center outlet has increased their flat price of $2 per item to $2.25 per item. So I'm not sure exactly which pieces have undergone that price increase. So I'm just going to continue to say $2, but you know, the cost of goods that I give can range, you know, can vary like 25 to 50 cents on accuracy. But I think I'm super conservative with my Goodwill outlet or Goodwill bins cost of goods that I give because um, everything, everything is cheaper than the cost of goods that I give. So that kind of balances out with the family thrift price increase. I hope that makes sense. Okay, next up we have another dress, lots of dresses. This is flax. Also 100% linen, it's a really pretty kind of cherry red maxi dress with side slits so it makes it easier to walk. Um, Flax is one of my absolute favorite brands to sell, especially in the summertime. It's so well made, so high quality, um, and I can always add a ton of keywords. Lag and look, cottage core, coastal grandma, beachy, Modest, I added modest for this dress because it is a maxi length and you could easily wear like a cardigan over for a modest outfit. So I listed this at $55. It probably retails for around, I would say 100 to 125 ish would be my guess. And within, again, just a few days, I got an offer of 48 which I accepted. That made my earnings $38.40 and my net profit $36.40. So great flip here. Highly recommend you guys keep an eye out for the Flax brand. They also have really cute sayings on the inner tag, like kind of like self-empowerment sayings, which I always like to read when I'm listing. Okay, next up we have a leather jacket. This is by the brand Margaret Godfrey in a size four. It is a genuine leather and it does have some tooling or embroidery on the leather, which is really pretty. It's like a floral design. It's fully lined great condition. I also found this at my family thrift center outlet for $2, which was insane for genuine leather. I'm going to, I always try to wrap leather pieces so that the leather kind of overlaps on itself the least amount possible, just because, I don't know, I feel like that's a good idea especially because I'm shipping out of Houston where it is still very, very toasty. Okay, so I just kind of folded it in there with the paper in between the overlaps and then I'm going to do one more piece on top. 
I listed this jacket at $35. I would say maybe about six months ago. I have had it for a little bit now. And I someone liked it recently, and so I sent them out a $31 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, which made my earnings $22.12, and my net profit right around $20 on this jacket. I think this was a little bit of an older piece, and Margaret Godfrey, I don't think there's a whole lot of demand for that brand. I don't think people are actively searching it out. This most likely sold based on style and materials. So even though it is a fully genuine leather jacket, I wasn't expecting a huge return on this. Um, I think $20 to $30 is just about right in my opinion based on uh, kind of the marketability of that piece in particular, I would say. Okay, next we have a turtleneck sweater. This is from the brand and other stories, which is a solid brand. It's very contemporary and trending. This, in contrast to Margaret Godfrey, this and other stories brand is something that people are actively searching out. If you go to the mall or wherever, there are a lot of people currently shopping at this store. So that's always a good sign. Um, I listed this at 38 and I would say after about a month of being listed, I got a $30 offer, which I accepted. This was from that huge buyout that I had from a friend. I paid $400 for everything and it broke down to about $11.40 per item. And so my net profit on this piece was $12.60. I have already recouped my $400 investment and am well into making a profit on that buyout. And so this sweater was basically all profit at $24. So I'm happy with that for this, for sure. This was definitely not one of the most substantial pieces in the buyout. And so, um, you know, I'm happy with just kind of doubling my money on this for sure. And, you know, when you take into consideration that I did not have to go out and shop for this, all I had to do was snap some photos and list. Um, making a $12 profit, you know, that does make a difference. That whole not expending a lot of time on it, that does compensate for the lesser profit. Next, we have a graphic t-shirt from Torrid in a size 5X. It says, don't judge a book by its movie, which I thought was really cute. I figured when I found this that it would sell pretty quickly, and it did, so that was great. It sold, I would say, within just a couple days of being listed. I listed it at $28, and I got an offer of $20, which I went ahead and took. That made my earnings 16 and my net profit $14. I would say graphic t-shirts, if the graphic is anything that a lot of people can relate to, either it's like a popular band or a popular saying or a popular character, whatever, I would say that's something that is going to sell really quickly. Uh, graphic t-shirts and sweatshirts are probably one of my top three most consistent kind of categories of items that sell. So I'm always happy when I find them. And like I was mentioning, Torrid is a super strong seller for me. It consistently sells, I would say, for like 20 to 40 ish, but probably most often right around that 25 ish dollar mark. Okay, next we have a hoodie from Free People. This is Free People Beach. 
which is a line within Free People that does sell a little bit better for me than just their main line. Um, this is Waffle Knit, really cute. It has exposed seams, very uh, just casual. This falls into, well, this kind of overlaps a lot of different style categories. It's beachy, it's boho, it almost has like that athleisure look to it, loungewear. And anything that can appeal to kind of a wider audience um, always, again, sells great for me. Trim this. So I listed this hoodie at $35 and I would say maybe four months after being listed, I received a $31 offer, which I did accept. That made my earnings $24.80 and my net profit $22.80. Really cute piece. You could wear this a million different ways. You could wear it over a swimsuit top to the beach. You could wear it as loungewear. Okay, moving on, we have a shirt dress. This is from DKNY. So I picked this up at the bins mainly because it was pretty lightweight and because although I don't, I definitely don't always buy DKNY brand, this particular piece had so much going for it. It's a shirt dress style, which I've mentioned it before, but shirt dresses, that's a category again, kind of like graphic t-shirts. Shirt dresses sell very well for me. It's also, it has a nice kind of contemporary pinstripe print to it. It was a size US 14. Excellent condition, just a really nice piece. And once again, it is that midi length. So we have a ton happening here. If this had just been, you know, like a basic shift white mini length dress in a size like six from DKNY, I would have left it, but all of its factors did make me want to get it. And I listed it at $28. I'd say maybe a month and a half after being listed, I received a $22 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings $17.60 and my net profit right around $16.60. So if you're curious about the shipping supplies I'm using, this is the Tyvek envelope from USPS. It is free. If you order it online, it's delivered straight to your door. It's waterproof. It's great. I package pretty much anything smallish in this. Poshmark does have a pre-negotiated rate with USPS for priority mail. So it's one, one flat cost for anything under five pounds or five pounds and under. And so, so basically it doesn't matter what you use. Envelope box. Um, this is my 1092 box. This is for like smallish bundles. 1095 for like medium sized bundles and then I do have a box number seven which I use for like hats or a big bag anything kind of oversized I do have a list of every box and envelope that I use in the description below if you're curious okay next up okay so this bundle it's a three-piece bundle I'm actually not going to package it on camera because the third item is at my apartment where I live across town. I'm at my office right now. Um, I'm was I meant to model it, but I never got around to it, and so it's still over there. So I'm gonna have to package that at home tomorrow and ship it. But I'll just put a picture of the third item on the screen. So the first piece is this Madewell little T-shirt. I like I was saying earlier, I try to stay away from super basic stuff from J J Crew and Madewell, but this t-shirt was from spring of 2021 and I liked the kind of dyed indigo look to it. So because it was so new, I did go ahead and get that piece. Second piece is this DKNY, yet again, little lacy bra, really pretty. I just threw this in my cart at the bins. It probably cost me like 25 cents to 50 cents. 
it looked brand new size 34c and I just thought it was really pretty nice quality and then third piece is a linen blend Zara like square neck little romper it has a wide leg really cute ties at the waist and that's the piece that I don't have here so I'm just going to put this label with these two items and take that home after I'm done filming so I won't forget to package that tomorrow and let me tell you what oh yeah so that the bundle of those three items when they were added together including the 15% off discount that I give for three items or more the bundle price came out to $62 and I sent out the buyer a $50 offer that was accepted my earnings were 40 I paid about five for all three items and so my net profit was $35 on that bundle okay moving on we have a pair of boots these are really nice they look brand new they are by the brand elites by walking cradles I had never heard of this brand before it is a comfort brand I like the lace-up detail and they had the manufactured burnished toes they are pretty much brand new and they were genuine leather pretty much anything genuine leather in a boot I will get made in Brazil they just seem really high quality so I was happy to find these and try out this brand I have had them listed now for maybe I would say four to six months so they took a little bit to sell however they did sell for $45 which was great that made my earnings 36 and my net profit around $34 on these boots. I believe they are, yeah, they are a size eight and a half wide width. So that can be kind of a hard size. Like some people have a hard time finding wide width or narrow width shoes. I'm sure someone was specifically searching out this size and style of boot and went ahead and just purchased them, which was awesome. I'm excited to find this brand again in the future. Comfort brands sell phenomenally for me. People love practical footwear, um, orthopedic shoes, Dansko, Mephisto, this brand, Walking Cradles. Um, I think people are just kind of on the hunt for comfort shoes. Naot is another really good comfort shoe. Ufos, they sell men and women shoes. Um, you know what, I need to switch these to a 1095. It's just a little bit wider. So that was a 1092, I'm switching over to a 1095. It's just a little bit wider and longer for the boots. Um, but yeah, Ufo shoes, that's another comfort shoe. Um, the men's sandals sell very quickly. I've sold a couple pairs now for, I want to say like 35-ish. Um, and they're kind of like the new thing. It's O-O-F-O-S. And it feels like you're walking on clouds. So keep an eye out for that brand. But yeah, if I'm out and I see a genuine leather boot that has a cute kind of boho style to it and it's in excellent condition, I will pretty much always get it. And then seeing that this these were called like walking cradles, I just kind of deduced that they were a comfort brand and that was just kind of like a cherry on top for you know thinking that they would be sellable okay next we have a really pretty piece this is a soft surroundings kimono it has beading all the way down the kind of lapels with this very boho almost like tropical print in a size 2x really well made just a great kind of statement piece that you can easily throw on. You can wear just like a white or cream basic tank or top underneath and then add this on top for a really nice layer 
dress up your outfit a little bit. So this sold for full price of $40. I had several full price sales over the weekend, which was, that always like makes my day. So yeah, $40. My earnings were $32 and my net profit was $30. I actually, when I very first listed this, I received a $32 offer, which I did, um, I think I countered to like 38 because I knew that this would sell really well. And then just a few days later, it sold full price. So a really nice piece there. I hope the buyer loves it, wears it often. That's something that's super versatile. You could wear that in the summer over like a swimsuit or some shorts and a light tank. Or, you know, you could wear it in the fall time, even with some booties and layer with it. Next, we have a three-piece bundle. First off is this J. Jill 100% linen button-down shirt dress. Really cute. It has pockets. I love the bright pop of orange for summertime. This looks great with a tan and... Again, a lot going for it. Linen, J. Jill, reputable brand, shirt dress. Uh, the I will wrap the second two items separately. So J. Jill, Chico's, Soft Surroundings, Eileen Fisher. I would say they all fall into a very similar kind of selling category for me. They all sell very consistently. Um, especially if they have a lot going for them, like material, style, condition. Okay, second piece is And Other Stories. It's a little polka dot high neck blouse with a smocked wrist cuff. Really cute, very kind of contemporary, a little bit of a puff sleeve. It's like a soft jersey knit material. This was another piece from that buyout, that $400 buyout. So I was happy to move this. This one did have a little bit of fading, which I of course noted. And lastly is this frame, frame shirt, size extra small, 100% silk blouse. It has a ruffle neckline with a little bell sleeve and a tie really pretty. This had a couple tiny flaws, which I obviously noted. I think there was just like a little pinhole at the shoulder maybe, but it was otherwise in such good condition and Frame is a very expensive brand uh, combined with the fact that it was 100% silk. I had to go ahead and get it. When the three of these were added to a bundle, the bundle price, including, again, my automatic 15% off discount, came out to $84, and I was offered $50, which I did counter to $65, and that was countered back to $60. I did accept the $60 counter, mainly because um, the And Other Stories top had some fading, like I mentioned. The frame blouse had a few small flaws. And I've had the frame top for, I would say, like six to nine months now, so I was ready to move it out. Plus, with the J. Jill, it being 100% linen, we are on our way out of summer, so I do want to start moving my super summery stuff. So yeah, I was happy to accept the $60 counter that made my earnings $48. I paid right around $15 for everything. And so my net profit was $33 on this bundle, which I'm happy with. I always love to move out older slash flawed inventory. Okay, moving on, we have a trench coat from Zara Knit. This is really pretty, very chic, contemporary. It's double breasted. It has a waist tie or waist belt. And then it is a mixed media, so this is like a rib knit. And then the back has this satin panel. Really nice piece. This was probably, I don't know, 100, 115-ish at Zara. 
It's such a classic wardrobe staple piece. Um, I could see someone, you know, wearing this often in a million different ways. So I was happy to find it a new home. I listed it at 50 and I was offered $35. I would say maybe like two months after being listed. So I accepted the 35 that made my earnings 28 and my net profit $26. Okay, next up we have a pair of sandals. These are by the brand COS, COS, which is, it's like a higher, a little bit higher end brand than H&M. These are genuine leather, so you know, a little bit higher quality stuff, uh, more contemporary, more kind of classic wardrobe staples. Definitely a brand to look out for, kind of like and other stories like I was mentioning. There are people actively searching for this cost brand and it's just kind of like a trending brand. So I listed these at $32. They had a little bit of wear. And so when I received a $25 offer, I would say like a month to a month and a half after being listed, I did go ahead and accept that. That made my earnings 20 and my net profit $18. So whenever I pack shoes and there's extra room and they are genuine leather, I usually crumple up an extra piece of paper and put it on the top to fill the extra space so that mainly just so that they don't move around during transit and get any damage to the toes or anything like that. Alrighty, now we have a two-piece bundle. First is this J. Crew factory sweater coat blazer in a leopard print. This is adorable, size extra small. I found this at the bins. I was so excited about it because, again, it just had so much going for it. It's a newer piece, fall 2020. It's got the leopard print, and I think these sweater coat blazers in particular from J. Crew sell very well. I think uh, people really like them and they're just, you know, really easy to wear and pair with different outfits. Second and last, I'm going to wrap that separately actually because it is a beaded dress. So second and final item is this Rachel by Rachel Roy beaded dress, really pretty. It's new with tags. I actually got this in a thread up 100 pound mystery box and I was really happy to see it because I just think it's a really nice piece. It's beaded, it's new, um, it's in a size two. It did take, I'd say maybe like nine months to sell which is a while, but I knew that it would sell, which does mean something. Very elegant. Um, so when the two of these items were added together, the bundle price came out to 74, and I was offered 60, which I accepted, mainly because I have had this dress for a while. So again, I wanted to move it out. My earnings were 48. I paid about $6 for both pieces. And so my net profit was $42 on this bundle. Grab my 1092 box, just a few more sales. We're making pretty decent time. I'm definitely going to make it down to the post office in time so that's always exciting my post office has actually been a little bit nicer to me recently if you have followed my channel for a while you would know they have definitely given me trouble in the past but they have seemed to have a little bit of a change of heart which has been nice i don't know maybe everyone's just happy for summertime but I'm definitely happy about it. Next we have a piece that I picked up solely based on style and size. So it's a size 3X. 
It's a cotton blend. It's open knit, crochet, kind of granny knit vest with a floral design to it. It's like a rose floral design button down vest. So with this being plus size, I thought that was awesome. And you know, you could wear this to the beach. You could wear this on vacation, on a cruise, pair it with a little sun hat. So cute. And it seemed really well made. There were no flaws to the knit. So pretty happy to find this. I listed it at 28 and I would say maybe two months after being listed i got a 23 dollar offer which i accepted my earnings were 18 dollars and 40 cents and my net profit was 16 dollars and 40 cents so i hope the buyer loves it this would be so cute with some like white wide leg pants and maybe like a white camisole to really make the knit pop in contrast you could really see the floral design in the knit okay last couple of sales jessica simpson new with tags bodysuit it's like a faux wrap or crossover front bodysuit has the snaps at the bottom for easy on off it's new with tags. I actually picked this up for myself. I paid two dollars for it, but I didn't love the way that it fit. It just wasn't super flattering, the kind of crossover. So I went ahead and listed it at $28. And I'd say maybe three months after being listed, someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $17.32 and my net profit $15.32. So I could not be happier with that, making a $15 profit on something that you know I picked up for myself and decided to not keep. That's you know lunch for the day or dinner for the day. So that's awesome. When you're doing this full time, pretty much everything adds up. So I'm happy with any and every sale that I have. Okay, our very last item to ship out today is a really cute dress by the brand English Factory. It's like a pinstripe little dress. It looks like a paperback skirt over a button down shirt, but it's actually just a dress. It is lined, has little ties at the sleeve. If I'm not mistaken, I believe someone gave this to me at the bins. I'm trying to remember her name. I remember um, I it was when Amber Resells was in town, was in Houston. Um, I cannot remember the name. I'm really sorry, but if you gave this to me at the bins, thank you so much. I feel like I'm about to think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I want to say it starts with an S. Anyways, thank you if you're watching this and you gave this to me at the bins. It's super cute. I listed it at $32 and I would say maybe like two, three months after being listed, I sent out a $28 offer with discount ship. And to that, someone countered 15, which I went ahead and accepted. I have had this, like I said, for a couple months now. We're moving out of summer. This is not like my top selling brand by any means. So yeah, I went ahead and accepted that. My earnings were 12. My net profit was right around 11. So I'm happy with that. Like I said, everything adds up and I'm grateful for every sale. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I need to put all of these into Ikea bags and take them down to the post office now. But I will see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye y'all.